This is an automated recording sent from K23, the Crown Station. Everyone will be provided a safe transit as soon as possible. We all do what we must just to survive. Just to exist. When our society started to collapse, I was prepared. My underground shelter was filled with food and supplies. But that was years ago. Nothing's left now. I have no idea what awaits me at the surface, but I can't stay here. All I know is that there's supposed to be an evacuation site to the east. I need to get there. I need to escape this wretched island. Cage suburb, Capernaum. This doesn't look so bad. Day one, morning. Whose camp is this? Well, it's mine now. It's some pieces of metal from worn down and broken objects. Press left mouse button to strike and destroy objects. Wood, hardy and strong organic material with a wide variety of uses. Upgrade the crowbar tool and break through the obstacles. Find two pieces of scrap metal, find five pieces of wood, upgrade the crowbar at the camp, destroy the dresser obstacle except. And the reason why we need to upgrade the, uh, the crowbar is this needs a minimum damage of 12 before I can destroy it. Well, I've got two pieces of metal as indicated by these and I've got four pieces of wood, now five pieces of wood. We'll go ahead and light this fire, which will respawn any enemy I've defeated. And we'll go and spend everything we've got to upgrade this crowbar from 8 to 12. The next upgrade will be from 12 to 16. So welcome to Tran Winds Dismantled. The way is open now for you to proceed forwards. Transports are outbound. Please keep calm and wait for the main device. This is an automated recording sent from K23, the Crown Station. Exhuman Scrapper. This exhuman uses different types of melee attacks to bring down his target. What's that thing? Hold le down left mouse button to strike a power attack when locked to a melee target. Press mouse button to toggle melee target. <laughs> monsters any kind will do escape the island go to the island site east of your shelter i should head east but it might make sense to explore a little first scrap fabric torn down and shredded bits of textile hold down shift to run another perfect campfire but nobody around strange find a map at the link tower upgrade your backpack and level up be able to scan the area using that link tower. So by activating this I will now have access to a map. I can also do certain things uh, to control the area with this link tower once your character has made enough advancements. In this case I will need to defeat nearby enemies. I acquired the map for the Capernaum area which is this. And then I've discovered nearby link towers which you should definitely make your way towards. I won't be able to open either of these gates until I've killed the monsters near it. We're going to head east, which is where our game is taking us. The gate is sealed until nearby threats are removed. Map acquired. Plastics. A synthetic or organic compound that can be molded into a variety of forms. A space to dodge roll. So when this guy, his arm flashes like that, he puts out a, a bigger melee attack. So his, it hurts worse than... It hurts worse than his, his shooting ability.
New monster slain, ex-human hunter. Requirements not met. The false gatekeeper. that. So this guy, he's a vomit monster. All you have to really do is stay behind him. Any of the acid or vomit that they spit, if you stand in it, will do damage to you. Now, the way this game works, you'll notice I can left click all around here. Your character doesn't really aim where your mouse is pointing unless you're standing absolutely still with no target in mind. I'll demonstrate. I should head to that Ling Tower. Alright, so if I click over here, you'll notice that he's not actually swinging behind him. He's still swinging in front. But if I'm standing absolutely still, now he'll turn around and swing and stuff. We head back to the Link Tower now. And because the boss has been slain, we can now open the East Gate. You'll notice a new option appeared, which is transmitters. We'll use those mana orbs or whatever they are to to turn off all the enemy spawns. But there's more to it than that. We need some electronic parts and stuff. So it's nothing we can do right now. I do probably want to get... Let's go ahead. Now, because the game is in early access, I actually don't want to destroy a lot of stuff because uh, as they add more materials, the items that you have already destroyed will no longer drop those items. For example, I think refrigerators drop steel or something now. Well, earlier they didn't do that. So if you already played the game and you destroyed all the refrigerators, well, you're you're not able to get steel. So things like that are to be aware. Uh, you should be aware of. In most cases, when you use the campfire, all the zombies nearby respawn. In fact, here, let's go ahead and demonstrate. I don't know why it's just suddenly lagged right there. Well, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and pop this zombie. Oh, darn it. I, was, I didn't think- I, I figured it might- wouldn't see me, but alright. Yeah, so like, I can click over here, watch. And because- so it's really a matter of where my character's walking. It's, it, does, it does take a little bit to get used to. And I have enough to upgrade my backpack, but I just wanted to pop the zombie. Wasn't there another one somewhere? Oh, he must have gone outside to look for look for all this all, where all the sound was coming from. So anyways, the reason I'm killing the zombie is I'm going to demonstrate that once I use the campfire, all the zombies will come back. You have leveled up. Return to the campfire and invent a new recipe that will help you in your journey. Alright, so those two guys I just killed, they're going to be respawning. Camping restores your health and replenishes uses for equipped items. However, it appears to do the same for most of the monsters as well. Level up! New skill gained. Enables inventing and crafting items at campfires. So I can now invent and craft. So, first we're going to upgrade gear. We're going to upgrade the backpack. It's part of our quest. And then we'll look, look at this stuff here. So, for example, if I want a cooking pot, I'll need some ceramic. Four ceramic and eight scrap metal. Throwing knives. 10 scrap metal, 4 scrap fabric, and 4 plastics. 
So we'll go ahead and track that. And I guess we're done here for now. Quest completed. Flame reward. Give me that XP. So now I can invent a cooking pot, cook any food recipe, and craft throwing knives as my next quest. So now we're done in town, we'll head out of Newbie Village. Now I did say most enemies, special boss events like this one here don't respawn in the current version of the game. Maybe that'll change in the future. So as far as post-apocalyptic zombie games go, this seems to be a lot more light-hearted than, than others in this genre. Your character will die should they end up walking into any pit, or even if they should touch water, that very much needed life-giving resource that we all need. Evacuation site, Canaveral. Escape the island. Investigate the evacuation site. Let's light this fire. And we'll get rolling. Now, if any zombie spots you, it screams and then alerts all the other nearby zombies. Like, that one's alerted from all the sounds. Now, the reason I'm not searching anything is you will eventually get a level up that increases the amount of items you find when searching. And searches don't respawn, nor do the items you break. So everything currently, again, in this current version of the game, it, it's very likely to change, but everything now is um, a finite resource. Except zombies. And zombies are infinitely spawning resource with drops in experience. Of building your private underground shelters, I say this. Is that really something that will help your neighbors? Or is it an act of pure selfishness? Something that only a snake would do? This is an automated recording sent from K23, the Crown Station. That monster looks extremely dangerous. I should be careful so it doesn't see me. I can kill it, but there's really not much point right now. map for the Canaveral area. So this is all water, but this is all area I haven't uncovered. Your character has pretty much navigated the main road to get here. And you've unlocked fast travel once you've built the correct item. So as you can see here, during the intro of the, of the credits, which I actually did kind of like the credits, your character has weaved his way around this barricade, around that hole, and so forth to get all the way over here. And this is where we are now. I need to get this gate open. Open the gate! The gate is sealed until link relays have been activated. The terminal requires authentication from the crown station, but the link relays are not active. The location of the relays are marked in the terminal. There are four link relays. Alright, so the link towers are the things we've been interacting with. The link relays, there, as far as I know, there's just these four right now. Again, all the information I have is up to 
up to, to what has been released in the game so far. So link, these link relays are not important, don't get them confused with link towers. Yeah, they are a key element in the game, but there's nothing more than a quest target. They don't do anything else. So don't get them confused with link towers. There's one link tower per area, like there's a link tower here, a link tower here that we just hit. And this is a link relay in this link tower area. So don't get them, don't, don't, don't get them mixed up. I guess I should go and activate those link relays. Alright, so we're done here. Now we're off to work on other stuff. Level up. Open the gate. My knowledge of this world is expanding. Now your character doesn't have a lot of hit points, so getting hit by a single zombie does do quite a number on you. So we leveled up. I don't know if these are random. I assume they are. Uh, let's see here. This sounds like an interesting thing, but this is not a worthwhile skill. But we're gonna get Pitcher. Let's see here, do we have anything we can make? It's new, the, the little red dot means new. I think there's gonna be a star that appears if it's something that I can actually build. Like once I get enough items for it. And for this, I can also track like that. I'm not too worried about the crowbar right now. We do need to work on it, but that's that's not one of my priorities. And another thing is I can always farm items off screen, like I can just go and kill zombies relentlessly. I thought he was going to fall off in the thing. I should probably kill these things. Only because zombies will chase them <laughs> and, and then chase you once they see the deer. Which is cool, the, deer, the, the zombies chase the deer, which I think is cool. Okay, maybe not anymore? They used to? Maybe they just didn't see it? I don't know. So to eventually lock on a target, your character needs to stop running, and then you just stay still long enough your character will automatically lock on. Alright, so we need- we're gonna head this way. This is the first point of interest. Real interest to me. Um, I don't have any tomatoes yet, because I haven't searched anything. Yeah, once I finish the recording, um, I can always farm zombies at my leisure. Leisure. Alright, so this place is great. You can use this to to start leveling up, or, or to start getting food. So invent and craft a seed bag, plant a seed, harvest crops. Alright, let's see what we need for a seed bag. Level 5, for starters. I can't track it, though. So actually, I've uh, moved a little too fast, I guess. I'm not really that surprised. Alright, so once we get a seed bag, we can turn these into to, to harvestable areas. We'll go ahead and keep moving for now. The link relay is now back online. Three more to go. Makes you wonder why these relays were specifically disabled, though. That one spotted me because this one was roaring or hissing at me. Sometimes they swing twice, so I wouldn't just charge in after, after they finish swinging. You can store materials without respawning the monsters, but if I wanted to, I could just camp and kill those guys again. Searching stuff does bring you items and joy, but again, I, I but I do I am trying to to hold off on those for now.
iron, a common form of metal used almost universally. Sometimes it's a little hard to see to get through areas. Alright, so this is a link tower, not a link relay. Where met or fair wood located nearby link towers. Evacuation have been established. Please move to your designated area. Take only what you need. This is an automated recording sent from K23, the Crown Station. Instant death. <laughs> Just watch out for that. Starting with a backstab attack does severe damage. With one power backstab and then a normal swing, you can put to death all these zombies. Otherwise, see that power that that, that power strike only did 22 damage. Uh, it took two power hits. And to do your power attack, you need to lock on the target, which means you need to stop running. Blunt weapons swing slower than edged weapons. I don't have any edged weapons yet. Currently, there are no guns, but there will be in the future. Um, in the controls scheme, there's a fire command, as well as during the trailer, they looks like they're intending to eventually allow guns. Investigate. Invent and craft a fishing rod. Catch three fish. Another link relay back online. Making good progress. You bet I am. Alright. So now we need to take care of this one. So there are a lot of zombies in this region. In order to open up this gate, you need to clear out zombies from both sides of the gate without using a campfire. Traveling here, you'd think everything was still normal. sale. Cozy house with a lush green garden. Check it out. For these guys, just power attack them. Roll back. Power attack them. 
Timber. Wood that has been processed into beams and planks. Now what I like to do is I'd like to generate closed doors that zombies are still around in, because the zombies will respawn, but the way the doors are structured will stay the same. So for example, if a zombie spawns in a room and the door is open, that zombie may leave that room. So I like to shut them in. I'm never going to kill one without, without upgrading my stuff. Currently, there's no real point to lighting campfires. Uh, except for getting the metal, which will allow you to get experience. So every time you activate a metal, such as traveling or echoes of the so like radios and stuff, you get experience points. So it's worth doing it for that reason. Lighting the campfire does not count as using it, so it's it's okay. And campfires uh, don't uh, get unlit at any point. Again, everything I'm saying is is for valid for my version of the game. <laughs> I, I worry about that because the game is actually going through a lot of changes, and so I don't want to sound like an idiot or misleading anybody. Of what? I guess I could rest. Yeah, I probably should rest. It does does mean the monsters that I just killed right on this path will respawn. But the the I want I want to get my perk, whatever the perk might be. Multi talented is uh, I believe that's a really good one. Vigorous is pretty interesting considering you don't have a lot of hit points, and I don't think you get hit points per level. You do get hit points for eating, and I'll explain that once we find a recipe. Gather is pretty good. You probably want to get all your gathers before you. Uh, start picking up anything because the mushrooms according to the developer does not do not respond so for example you might find a bird egg and maybe it'll always be there every game but only once a game so uh, if you get like gather four or something you can get two eggs rather than just one egg we're we'll going to get multi-talented which will allow us to have four options when we level up i don't suggest in the early access version of getting the experience bonus perks in a normal game those would be fantastic to get but right now, in early access, your, your level cap is at 22 in this version. Um, and you're, you'll have like maybe six, seven perks spent on getting experience points. That's seven perks that you could have used. That's, that's almost a third of your perks. Um, some of those level ups, I think, just give you recipes or something. But yeah, I, I would not, uh, during the early version, early access version of the game, get experience bonus perks. The crafted item has limited number of uses. The uses are automatically replenished when you rest at a campfire. Alright, so now I have a throwable weapon. Perfectly balanced blade designed to be thrown at hostile targets. Throw a knife toward the locked target. Everything I said about aiming with a melee weapon applies to the knife too. 